We are here in the Posidonia exhibition in the stand of uh, Rinat. The exhibition is going very good. We are uh, very happy of being again in person after uh, four years. Greece uh, is always in our hearts. Uh, and uh, you know, this is a global industry, but uh, first of all, it's a family. And so it's really exciting uh, to meet uh, partners, uh, clients uh, after so long time. Now we are at almost uh, 8,000 ships. Uh, almost uh, 60, 61 uh, million gross tonnage. So we are having a great growth uh, everywhere in the world. But I would say particularly here in Greece, uh, we have now over uh, 600 vessels uh, classed by us in Greek uh, for a total tonnage uh, of over uh, 16 million. And uh, here in Greece, we have moved uh, almost the center of our maritime business. Uh, we have invested a lot. Uh, we provide global training. Uh, we have experts on the digital, on the cyber security. We have all uh, the classification services. Uh, and uh, last week, we have uh, established uh, a new fleet operation center in which uh, all uh, our vessels are continuously monitored by our technician, and they can provide assistance and services to our clients in Greece. Yes. Now, Mr. Moore, tell us a little bit, give us a, a view of what um, actually RINA is doing uh, for the decarbonization uh, aspect until 2050. Decarbonization aspect is something that we are looking not only in the shipping, but also in many other sectors in which we work, because uh, we are working and helping the industry in the hard to abate sectors, steel manufacturer, uh, we are helping uh, on trains, we are certifying the first train uh, running with the fuel cells and hydrogen. In shipping, you know, we want to have a very practical and doable approach. Uh, so we believe uh, short-term measures for the existing fleet, a great contribution by digitalization, uh, monitoring, uh, and uh, all uh, the type of uh, CapEx investment uh, that somehow can help you to reach the first uh, CII um, targets. But then we are looking to something for, so for new building. If you want to order a new building now, you cannot wait to have uh, the, the fuel of the future. You have to order now something that will be still good from here to 20 years. And so what we have presented today in our seminar is a, a completely new concept. So it's ships powered by hydrogen that is produced on board because the vessel is carrying LNG. So it's a, it's a very simple uh, if you allow me, concept, but uh, very innovative and very, 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 uh, from the business point of view, uh, with a very great opportunity, because at the end, uh, LNG will be uh, somehow separated its molecule and uh, will produce liquefied CO2 from one side that will be disposed on board, and hydrogen that you could send to the main engine together with the LNG. So it's a way of producing hydrogen on board and not being somehow blocked by all the contingencies that now we have on the logistic and distribution of hydrogen. So I think, uh, thanks to the colleagues here in Greece that developed this concept together with another Greek manufacturer that is Albion, the manufacturer of this uh, reformer, Varsila and IBB that is providing uh, the fuel cells, so we are very happy to do something practicable that you can order now and be ready for 2050.